So this week I decided to take this horn out for a spin. This is my single B-flat with stopping valve. Anonymous instrument. It's a lovely horn to play, these beautiful clock spring rotary valves. Um, I bought it a fair few years back from my colleague, the horn player and horn dealer, Stefan Blanc in the Netherlands. And when I first saw it, I thought, ah, oh, this will be just perfect for doing any repertoire associated with Franz Strauss, the father of Richard Strauss, and the whole Wagner world in which Franz Strauss operated. Uh, Franz Strauss famously really didn't get on well with Wagner, but Wagner really respect him, respected him as a horn player. And we know because Franz Strauss's horn survives um, that he at one stage was playing on an Ottensteiner uh, single B flat, if, but I think they've got the um, slides to put it into other keys. And so when I first saw it, I wondered whether it could be an Ottensteiner. Um, Ottensteiner, uh, Georg Johann Ottensteiner was a big maker in Munich from around about the 1860s onwards. So, um, yeah, very much placing him and Franz Strauss and Wagner all in the same place. Um, but a little bit of uh, information from my colleague, Uli Hübner, he thinks it's probably by another Munich maker of the same era, um, the wonderfully named August Bopp, uh, who was making instruments in Munich from about the 1860s up until the early 20th century. So it will date from the second half of the 19th century. And as I say, the Munich connection, Ottensteiner and Franz Strauss, I thought I would play a little piece of Franz Strauss this week and I thought it'd be nice to go to the slow movement of Franz Strauss's concerto, Opus 8 concerto and yeah it's just a really nice combination I think that concerto was premiered in Munich about 1865 so August Bopp possibly uh, possibly 1860s onwards Munich horn playing uh, Franz Strauss's slow movement of his concerto from around the same era. <laughs> 